before you start applying Echo and Reaper, make sure you have some quiet parts at the end of your audio recording, otherwise your Echo will truncate at the very end of your audio clip. So you can do that by either recording quiet environment, you can just select a quiet part of your audio clip, copy the selected area of items and paste it as many times as you need. Usually that's about two to three seconds. Select all of them and glue them nicely together. And now we can look for Reaper's delay effect in the effects. So just type in re delay, drag it onto your clip. Now, what you can do here, uh, we, we added a single echo now. We can bam, it. bam, bam, bam. Doesn't sound like a real echo, but that, that's the beginning. And there's a few things, few few settings that we care about here. So length will determine how long it takes for that echo to appear. Also how volume, so how loud is that echo? Usually it will be slightly quieter. And this one is also over arching setting for the echo because you can add multiple echoes and this one will control um, the, the overall sound of all of them. And if you want to change the volume for each of them, you'll have to do it here with this uh, meter. So, so with the volume, if you make it quiet, it will sound as if it is coming from a lo longer distance because if, if it travels longer distance, it will become quieter most of the time, doesn't apply all, all of the time, I suppose. But a majority of the time it will be like this. So what we can do here is, let's say we'll add, we'll make the first echo 10 milliseconds or something like that. We'll make it five decibels or we'll make it, we'll put it to zero volume because already by default is six decibels quieter. We'll go to the second one, make it 50 milliseconds here. We'll decrease the volume by seven decibels or something like that. And this one will be 100 milliseconds and even lower in volume. Bam, 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 bam. And yeah, so we, we are going somewhere. We still need to add reverb to make it more realistic. So we're gonna look for reverbate effect, we drag it onto the timeline and it will sound like this now. Bam, 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 bam. And you can control the room size here. So the larger, you know, the, the larger the room size uh, will make it sound completely different. Bam, bam. Right, more like you're in a hall. Dampening will determine how, how long will the echo lasts, so higher values will dampen it and it will become more abrupt. Lower values will keep it going, extend it. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam. And then initial delay will also determine the how long it takes for the echo to appear, so higher values will, will mean that your echo is bouncing off from an object that is further away, meaning that the, the, the whole space you're in is kind of larger. Bam, 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 bam. And you can also look for presets right here. So the, the one I like was Dark, cor dark Corridor. Bam, bam. 
Bam, bam. And you can look for the ones. Most of these are meant for music, but if you're doing voiceover, you can find something for you as well. And this is it. This is how you add delay and reverb and create the echo in Reaper.